Hello everyone, Mike here, and I want to show you how to do a bulk mass email in Outlook. So it's kind of a process. You got to use Excel, Word, and it's connected to your Outlook. So once you're signed into Outlook, first thing you want to do is go to Mail, right? So open up Mail, and then you want to go to your Preferences. And then make sure default reader is Outlook. That's important. All right, so we'll go to the next step. All right, to the next step, open up Excel, and we want to make the contacts. So you can import these, but I'm going to make it from scratch. So I'll label this column email, and then we'll do first name. Okay, so we'll put Mike, and then email. We'll do gadget guru club at gmail.com and you can do as many emails as you want but we'll just keep it one for now just for education purposes all right so we save as and we want to save it as a csv right and we'll just do contacts okay so we save that and then we click yes. All right, so the next step is gonna to go to Word now. So here we are in Word and you can make this basically a test email, but we're going to go to mailings and then you wanna do start mail merge. You do email messages, right? And then you wanna do recipients existing list contacts and then this will pop up I just go with default Mac OS okay so we can do hello and then we have the field we could do the first name All right, so whatever you want to put in the email, and then we do finish and merge, merge to email, subject, test, email, whatever you want to put there, send this text, keep that the same, and then two, drop down, you want to do to email, and then when you're done, you click mail merge to Outbox. As you can see, it's sent through your Outlook, right, and then we can go to the Gmail and then see if it came through. So here we are. Email is received. And that's how you send a mass email using Outlook, Excel, and Word. Thanks for watching. I want to say if you got help from this video, found it useful, please consider liking and subscribing and hitting that bell just in case you want to see videos in the future.